Hello gamers, Softkitty99 here and I would like to share with you today the three screens that we've got as loading screens for Battle for Azeroth. Here in the first one is the screen that you get as you're loading into the server after you put in your login details and as you can see we've got the Battle for Lordaeron here. You've got the front walls of Lordaeron and the little gate at the front so it's all very defensible and in the foreground you can see the battle standards for the Horde and the Alliance and you can see bits of armour for the Horde and for the Alliance. You've got the traditional Alliance sword and the Horde axe. So it looks like the aftermath of that great big battle that we have before Lordaeron as we start the whole of the expansion off where we see Anduin raising the people and Sylvanas going full Banshee and screaming for the Horde at us. And here we appear to have what happens at the end of it, just the carnage and destruction that's left after that great battle. So get used to this one. This is what you're going to be seeing every day when you load into Battle for Azeroth. And for the next one, we have the Alliance splash screen. Here you can see Jaina in all her new glory with her new model. And on the opposite side, you can see the sort of tree-like druidic influence that is very prevalent in Kul Tiras. So this is the Alliance-based splash screen. Jaina there looks very, very determined, as you can see. And you can see the, the lightning and the water coming off of her weapon. The um, Kulturan zones are very druidic and dark magic influenced. I just love the details on these models. If you look, there's um, so much intricate detail as we've come to expect from the polished final products that we usually get from our Blizzard games. I think both of these screens for the Horde and the Alliance are very, very impressive, but I have to admit that the Horde one that you can see now is my favourite of these three screens. You've got Princess Talanji in all her glory with an immaculately beautiful and ornate headdress, and she's there really wanting to protect her, the trolls of Zandalar. And you can see the enemy there, the snake people. I think that's a really interesting different type of bad guy for us to be fighting against here. And I know a lot of people are hoping that the snake people become a playable race. We'll have to wait and see. Blizzard have definitely not said that they're planning on doing a completely different race. Most of them so far are based on races we've already got. And who doesn't love a T-Rex? I mean, look at him in his battle armour. He's absolutely magnificent. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please don't forget to like comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video from softkitty99 goodbye <laughs>